overpaid for them, but I had to have them all. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. This video is the haul video from the Shop With Me video that was up yesterday on my channel. Um, I went to a antique mall, which you guys saw footage of, but I also went into a little thrift store that I like to check every once in a while because sometimes they've got some good stuff, sometimes they don't, but I mean, that's how every thrift store is, right? So I did get some stuff in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stuff that I got from the little thrift store. Um, one of the things I picked up was this these cute little cups and there's a little decanter. They're made out of glass. They're just little a little miniature uh, set. But look, it's a little decanter with a lid and it is hand blown. You can tell on the bottom it's hand blown. And then it came with it also came with these four little miniature glasses. So that's cute. And all of these in this baggie were a dollar. So they're cute, right? I, I, I couldn't resist not buying them. So I got those. I also picked up, this is a Pyrex Spring Blossom or Crazy Daisy. It's a round butter dish. This I paid $2.50 for, and it does have the lid. And I've sold these before for about $18. So it was a pretty good investment, $2.50 to sell on eBay. I also picked up this. I have other pieces of pottery like this at my antique store. And it kind of matches, but I just thought it was really cute and I can use it in my spring decor. It was $1.50. And there is a maker for this. And for the life of me, I cannot remember it right now. But it has this really pretty sort of like a daisy or sunflower design on it. It's made from pottery. It's just a little, just a little tchotchke. It has no purpose other than being cute and pretty. But I will add it to a shelf, add it to my spring and summer decor. It has a really nice crazing on it. So I got that for $1.50. I also picked up, this is a little Duraglass green glass canister. I have a friend of mine, June. Hi, June. June is starting, she wants a bottle, so she's starting a bottle collection. So whenever I see these at a good price, I'll pick them up for her. So this was a dollar, which probably should have been 50 cents, but I went ahead and picked it up for her anyway. Okay, the next thing that I got was for myself as well. I'm really getting into ironstone and different pieces of white pottery. I got these little miniature cream and sugar set just to add to a shelf. Um, they were 50 cents a piece and the creamer, oh no, the sugar jar has the lid on it. It's all taped on here. I'm not going to untape it, but I just thought it was cute for 50 cents a piece. So it was a really good price on that. So I picked those up. I also picked up some birds. Now I, I've kind of talked to you about this a little bit in some of my videos, but I've been starting get, to get into these little uh, lusterware made in Japan little figures like this. This one was made in occupied Japan. You can kind of tell on the bottom, it says made in occupied Japan. I paid $3 for, for this one, which is a lot because that's not, that's about what they're, what they're selling for, but I liked it. It's got a little kitty cat chasing a bird up on a tree stump and it's a little planter. So I picked this up. It's in great condition. So I'm going to add that to my little, my little collection. Then I also picked up these birds and I probably overpaid for them, but I had to have them all. Do you ever get like that when you're like, um, I'm just gonna buy them all. I mean, cause they were like, this one was a dollar. It's a Cardinal. It is also made in Occupy, is that one just made in Japan? This one's just made in Japan. This one's not made in Occupy Japan. So there's the Cardinal. This one was $4, which was a splurge. I know, but I couldn't just leave this one behind. It was the most expensive one. It was made in occupied Japan. And it's this little, is that a crane or an egret? Egret? It's a bird. But it has like a little peachy color. I don't know, it's, it's just neat. And this one I, I paid $3 for, which is, you know, still getting up there on that list, but it was made in occupied Japan as well. 
And this these two little cheap, these two little lovebirds. Just, I don't know. I just, uh, I just like this stuff. And then this little guy was also $3. It's also made in Occupy Japan. How can I leave all the, how can I just leave one of them? Yeah, I had to get them all. It's a little swan of some sort, I think. And then these little, these are the little biddies. They were, they were $3 a piece too, but I mean, look at how cute that is. Also made in occupied Japan. Now, I don't know for sure that I'm going, this one's also made in occupied Japan, that I'm going to keep all of these. I'm for sure going to keep this one. But I think I might lot the other ones together and sell them as a lot. Since I did pay for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen dollars for all these birds, but I, like I said, I couldn't leave them behind. This is also made in Occ occupied Japan, and it was a dollar fifty. And it's just a little. There probably used to be salt and pepper shakers in here. It's just a little Easter basket. But I thought that I might put. I have these some of these little Easter eggs. I might just put some eggs in it. I don't know. I use it in my Easter decor. I might put a couple little chicks in it or make some sort of assemblage with it. But for a dollar fifty, it's made in Occupy Japan. Why not? Then I also got for a dollar is this is a Tepco USA China, a little creamer. I do like these a lot. This one has almost like a little Aztec design on it. So this was a dollar, so I got that. These, uh, these also have some sort of a name and I just can't for the life of me think of what it was. But they were $2 for this Spice and Cinnamon shaker set. They don't have the, the uh, corks in the bottom of them, but they have a roosters on them, which rooster things do pretty well for me. So these I will be listing. And these probably, these did come in a whole Spice set. Um, which these are really nice size spice jars, but you know, people like the roosters and the coloring on them is really, really nice. And then I also picked up from the little thrift store, this canister set for $2 and 50 cents. It came with the dripping canister. Now it is transferware. This is a transfer on there. This says drips, but in the, the lid of it, Everybody say hi to Brutus. Hi, Brutus. He's not gonna talk. The lid is a little discolored, as you can see. Uh, and there is one little chip <coughs> right there on the under, underside. <coughs> so you can't really tell. <coughs> Let me go let him out. So you can't really tell from looking at it for display where it is. It does have some discoloration on the glaze itself, but it was $2.50 for the canister as well as the salt and pepper shakers. The corks are floating around in there, uh, but these are, there's no flaws on these. And that transfer is in, still in pretty good shape. And so is the gold paint on the salt and pepper. Very, very Art Deco lines. So I do like that. And I don't know if it's worth anything, but I mean, this alone, I could probably sell the set maybe $15 for the set. We'll see. All right. And then I also picked up these just for me, just to use in my, uh, spring decor. The baskets in there are quarter a piece. So I just got this little blue one. And like I said, I have these little foamy Easter eggs. And so I have more than this, but I thought it would look cute. And then I also picked up just this, this little Easter basket. I'm probably going to put um, I have a bunch of little Easter bunnies that I'll probably will set in that and use it on a shelf. And that's what I got from the little thrift store. And I didn't film when I was in there because the music was really loud and there was quite a few people in there. So I didn't film when I was in there. So the next things I'm going to show you are things that I picked up from the antique mall. And like I say all the time, if you go into an antique mall and you're looking for things to resell, you honestly can find things to resell in there and that you can flip for a profit. A lot of the times the dealers are wanting to clear out some of their older inventory or just things that may not be selling in this particular area. 
and they want to get rid of it so they can add more things. Not every antique dealer looks up or sells on eBay. So a lot of times they know what things are worth, but not always. That's not always the case. And if you are reselling on eBay, you're opening it up to a worldwide market and not just keeping these things in a regional place. So you can flip for profit when you go to antique malls and antique shops all of the time. So don't rule them out. Okay, so the one of the things that I got, now I spent, what was it, 60 some dollars and some change at this antique mall. I'm going to try to remember what I paid for this stuff, but they took the price tags off when they wrapped it all up. So I don't really remember exactly what I paid for every single thing, but everything except for one thing that I got was half price, 50% off at an antique mall. And I know that sometimes when you go and you shop a 50% off sale at an antique mall, you might notice that, well, the prices are crazy. And so even paying 50% off, it's still expensive. That isn't always the case. So don't just don't rule out shopping for resale at an antique place. Okay. Okay. So the first thing that I picked up, this was actually the first thing that I picked up to buy when I went in are these cute little, uh, chickens, hens, chickens, roosters, Luke. I'm sorry. I know Luke, my friend Luke just has schooled me in the art of telling the difference between a chicken and rooster. But honestly, this one I think is the rooster. I think this one's the hen because he's got all that stuff on his head. And Luke brought me some models to show me, and I still can't tell the difference between these two. But anyway, they are marked Japan on the bottom. They do have their corks in them still. Let me take off his little price tag leash. And these I will be listing for sale. They're in great condition. No, no chips, no flaws. So good to go. And I, I want to say that I paid $4 for these. I want to say that was the, that's what I paid. I also got this huge stack of enamel pots. And I know in the video I kept calling them ladles. I don't know why. They're little, they're just little mini pots. This one's the smallest one. These, uh, I do pretty well with enamel wear. And I love the coloring on this one. This one has like an army green. This one's like the more common, the black and the white. And also the red and the white. And then, I mean, this one has, I mean, I wouldn't be using this one to like make my soup or anything, but for decor pieces, you can put some succulents in there, um, hang it on the wall like this. Um, so this is just adds a little bit of something to your displays. And this little cute little yellow and black one. How cute is that? So I picked these up. I want to say they were a couple dollars a piece on sale, but I kind of like them just kind of stacked up like this. So I got those. I also found this coffee mug. Now this is a Fire King coffee mug. It's a Snoopy mug. These do really, really well. So if you can get these Fire King Snoopy mugs, especially the one like the classic with Snoopy on his doghouse or the Red Baron one does really well. This one sells for about, about $25 to $30 or so on eBay. Um, and it says, I hate it when it snows on my French toast. And look at his grumpy face. So look out for these. These can do very, very well. So I got this. I want to say it was, I might have paid $2.50 for it. So that was a great deal. I also got this cute little Easter egg. I think it was $1 or $2. I'm going to keep it. it has this cute little bunny. It says Happy Easter on it. So I'm going to keep that. And then I also got a, another squeaker. Now if I squeak this. Okay, I'm gonna squeak a squeaker. So your dog will probably be running into the room looking for the source of the squeaker. So I'm just gonna give you a warning. You may wanna turn your TV down or just enjoy in the fun of your dog running in and hearing a squeaker. Cause I know Brutus is probably gonna turn his little body over here when he hears this, but I got a squeaker. There he is. This is a little elephant. It's made by Santa Toy. And I am going to clean him up a little bit with a little bit of, I'll use a magic eraser on the white part, not on this part because it will fade it and it'll take off some of the paint. Baby wipes are a good thing to use to clean these guys. This is a little toy from the 50s or 60s. 
Um, this, I think it was a couple dollars and these sell for about 18 to $25 or so on eBay. Very cute little squeaker toy. All right, and I also picked up these little booklets that are stinking amazing. They're so cute. And I had, I paid, I think it was $9 for the entire stack, 50% off. So I got a good deal on these, but they're, they are these vintage coloring books. Now, a lot of them have been colored in, but I don't care because I like the artwork that's on them. And it has the artist is this major, M-A-G-E-R. I haven't looked any of these up. I just think that they're amazing. They are, they do have a copyright, or a couple of them did. Well, let me just show you. This one is Let's Draw with the Little Lamb. This one is, they're made in the USA, and it has Roman numer numerals, so I'll have to look that up. I'll, I'll show it to you. You guys might comment in the comments if you know those Roman numerals. I will Google them. But here is Mazes, and here is Easy Dot to Dot Pictures. I mean, Look at the happy bunny. Now this bear is a little creepy looking, even for me. And I like creepy looking things, but look at him. He's kind of creepy. Even the doll on the back is a little haunting, but stencil play. And they're all made by that same artist, M-A-G-E-R. Here's another little lamb. Let's draw. This one's how to draw. Look, wiener mom. Look, Jody. It's a wiener dog. It's a wiener dog. This one doesn't have a booklet in it. This one, oh my gosh. This one is adorable. Follow the dots. Look at that duck. He's eating the one. I love him. And then and there's also things to make. Oh my gosh. The artwork is just so cool on here. I love it. And find the hidden pictures, the pig, looking at his reflection. Look at the little duck. Ugh. Zebra, little zebra and his pals, pictures to color. The dot to dot zoo, the little elephant, still by the same artist. Ugh, this one, there's the snooty little girl on here. Let's color. She's like, nope. He's trying to be so kind to her and she's just not having any of it. Then there's, oh, this one. Connect the Lines Flower Book. I mean, look at that bird. Oh, that blue and the pink together. And then the big quiz. So those, these were all illustrated by that M-A-G-E-R, Mager. And then these were also, these are uh, Southfield. They're coloring books, but they're, I'm showing them separately. They still came in this big stack that I paid like $4 for. But we have Henny Penny coloring book. And look at the price, five cents. I mean, and yes, the pictures, a lot of them have been colored in. But I don't, I like the covers on them. And then let's color. Look at her. Her little red shoes. This one is ABC Coloring Book, and this one was illustrated by Eve. Look at the deer. Oh, over here. I'm looking at the back. He's on the other side. The deer. Oh my gosh. And then Circus Pictures to Color. And this one, it has Casey K is the illustrator on that. Oh man, look at look at him. He's kind of creepy. So I, these were amazing to me. This was probably, well, no, what I'm about to show you was my favorite thing that I found, but these are a really close second. And I, like I said, I don't know what the value is on these. I will be keeping a few of them, maybe, but they're amazing. That was a great deal. And then I did get, I paid $2.99 for this book because I wanted an Easter book to kind of balance out an area that I'm going to be staging for Easter. So I got it for that. And this one is was is not a first edition. It was probably, yeah, it was published in 1962. It was the second copyright on it, but I like the coloring of it. 
and it's in really good shape. And then my favorite thing that I found the whole day, and I'm keeping these, and I did post a picture of these on my Instagram. So follow my Instagram if you haven't already. They are made by, oh, who, Chase. They're hand-painted deer. Oh, deer. Look. No, bunnies. Are these bunnies or deer? I think they're bunnies. I keep calling them deers because I do, I do, I did have, I think I sent them to Rachel, Superior Girl Vintage. I had some deer uh, and I don't think that the ears were as long. So I think that these are bunnies. Yes, they're bunnies, I think. What do you think? Do you think they're deers or bunnies? I think they're bunnies, but they are going to go on in my decor, at least for this year. Sometimes I'll keep things for a year and then the next year comes and I've, gotten out of that thing and I'm going into something else. So these are at least going to be mine for at least this year. The flowers on them are in great shape. There's no flaws on them. I did pay $12 for the set, which is paying up for me because I don't normally spend that much. That's going above what my cost of goods, but I'm keeping these so it, it doesn't matter. But that's what I got from my little day on Friday. I wasn't even expecting to go to the antique mall, but I just, I was there. It was right next door to the new flea market that I went to, new thrift store that I went to. So I just went in and it ended up being a really good day. Don't count out antique stores and antique malls to be able to flip things. Yes, a lot of the times you're not going to be able to keep your cost of goods as low when you go there, but sometimes you can. Always check out their social media presence. A lot of times they will post on Facebook when they're running sales. And so you'll know when the good, when the best time to go is. And it was a good day for me. I found some good treasures. So don't count out the, the antique stores and you never know what you can find. There are treasures everywhere. With that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and hit the bell notification and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will go ahead and say goodbye guys.